Close your eyes, watch your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And the next breath, and then the next breath. Try to be sensitive about how the breathing feels. Notice what kind of breathing feels comfortable. You can start with long breathing, and then if that doesn't feel comfortable, you can make it shorter. Faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Find a way of breathing that makes it easy to stay here, comfortable to stay here, refreshing to stay here. Because you're trying to train the mind to stay focused on one thing continually. When you say make up your mind in English, in Pali they call it atitana, which means basically to make a determination to take a vow. You're going to do something good and you want to stick with that determination. Don't let your other desires come in and push you off course. Have you noticed dust motes in a shaft of light? They go back and forth, up and down, then back and forth again, up and down again, and don't really go anywhere. A breeze blows and they go, get stirred up a little bit. But they have no purpose, no goal. Most people's lives are like that. They get blown around by events. And as a result, don't take full advantage of the fact that they're born as human beings with all the capabilities that human beings have. We're capable of being virtuous, capable of being generous, capable of training our minds. That's the sort of thing you want to determine on. As the Buddha said, there are many, many paths out there. There are paths that go to hell, paths that go to animal realm, paths that go to the realm of the hungry ghost, the human realm, deva realm, paths that go to nirvana. You want to make sure you're on the right path and you stay on a good path. Don't go hopping around from path to path because you end up not going anywhere much. Back and forth, up and down, just like dust boats. You want to have a clear goal in mind. The Buddha was born with a clear goal. He wanted full awakening. He was determined to create all the causes that lead to that. And one of them was determination. You stay focused on your goal and don't let other things push you off. Make sure you've chosen a good goal and that you're clear about what needs to be done. And then you just stick with it. Any other determinations that would push you off, you can resist them. That's the quality of mind you want. In Pali, this is also called resolution. You resolve on a good goal. You stay on path, on the path that will take you there. So reflect on your life. Where is it going? Don't be like a dust mote blown around by what the slightest breeze. Make sure that you have a determination and you stick with that determination regardless of what events there are outside, because the events of the world, and we see them, they're very unpredictable, very undependable. If you let your life get blown around by these things, you don't know where you're going to end up. So make up your mind. The Buddha has set a good example for us. So try to follow his example as best you can. Make up your mind that this will be the meaning for your life, because we're born without any specific meaning. There's no overall purpose for the universe that we have to fit into. So we're free to choose whatever goal we want. So try to choose a wise one and stick with it. That way we'll have something to show for this life, something of value, something of solid worth. <laughs>